I'm here with Derek Honan after Tipperary <laughs> come to Cusick Park got a victory. What did you make with Derek? Yeah, just fine from a Clare point of view, you know. Um, I was, it was a, probably a nervous approach to the game for, from Clare because we hadn't shown a whole pile in the league and you were hoping that they'd be able to kind of show maybe their championship form from last year in the most championship last year, but um, they didn't. And in fairness, Tipper were already winners in the day, you know. Did you feel like Tip went nine points up in the first half, but I felt it was a case that Clare gifted a few goals to Tipperary, and I know Eamon Foody would obviously be disappointed with that. Clare didn't really take their chance. It was never a nine-point lead, even at that stage. Yeah, well, definitely, you know, there was there was definitely malfunctions there on the short pocket from Clare, and um, you know, Tip punished them in fairness, and uh, Morris Morris uh, punished them, and there was probably a sideline goal directed in net as well, which is the ideal. And you know, it was a nervy start from Foody on his first start, but like he's a very very good goalie, and you know. You'd be hoping he bounced back from it and in fairness he, he was much better in the second half but definitely from a clear point of view those three goals were gifted in the first half and uh, it was always an uphill battle after that I think Clare did very well to bring it back to three points uh, but they were never able to close the gap significantly enough you know to be able to hold them off and is there, like what would be the main crumbs of comfort for Clare today because like the rest of the championship though really hard losing the home game like of Aidan McCarthy was, you know, he was unplayable today. One four from Clay, never mind the place mm. balls. But like, what are the positives for Clare moving forward? Yeah, like that. I suppose uh, Mark Rogers was probably the big positive. Two uh, first goal was an incredible goal. Uh, you know, it was a one on three inside, and for him to turn it into a goal uh, was uh, was outrageous, really. Uh, Aidan McCarthy as well. But I think more more so than looking for positives, you you probably have to look at where can we improve. And you know, our, our build our build up play, and we overdid it on the way out from defence a lot of times, and was punished. So that needs to sharpen up a lot and, and we need to probably speed up the delivery of the ball into forwards uh, I think uh, for the next day. Do you, what, what do you think about Tip though? Like this is the first time, well it had been six championship defeats in a row, obviously things have changed a lot under Liam Cattle now but where do you think Tip are heading this season? Yeah I mean Tip showed very very well in the league and uh, very impressive under Cattle and, and, and the new style that they're playing and they continue that today. You know, I wonder if, if Clare hadn't gifted them three goals, you know, how, how the game would have panned out. But they have a first victory on the board, that's the most important thing. And the pressure is a little bit off them now. So, you know, the pressure is very much on Clare, and going into Limerick uh, next week isn't maybe the most enticing prospect. But uh, you have to have to just regather, or, I suppose, circle the troops and, and go for it again. Yeah, I would have thought like that Clare, the overall balance of play, I know Tip got the goals and a few extra scores here and there, obviously. But I thought Clare were really trouble in Tipperary, especially the lack of pace that Tipperary have in places at the back. I actually thought Clare can feel very unfortunate to lose this game. Yeah, I mean, Clare at times, you know, they did open them up in the first half particularly when, when they broke that line in the half back line. Uh, when they broke tip, Tip's half back line, they were able to open it up and, and they created really good goal scoring opportunities. They didn't take them on. Um, and, you know, they probably needed to, given the head start that they gave Tip. Um, but that'll be probably something to Tip look at. And I thought, in fairness to Tip, they shored that up in the second half and they weren't opened up at all and, and they closed off whether, whether Clare weren't delivering the ball fast enough or not they closed off any goal scoring opportunities really bad, bad for very, at the very end uh, and that would be very positive from Tip's point of view Yeah, t Tony Kelly like, it's probably the second game in a row against Tipperary where he's been quiet Seamus Kennedy did a decent job of him last year Carl Barrett this year um, strange that he, he was quite quiet today yeah and to honest, two very athletic players Seamus Kennedy last year and Barrett this year they were able to stick with him and uh, Tony's game you know is oftentimes moving off the play receiving the ball and, and, and uh, making incisive plays from there but didn't manage to get probably fully into today as, as much as he'd like to um, but I'm sure like the quality of the player we'll see the best of him before the end of the Munster Championship and do you think a team teams that are conceding this much in Championship games like this unbelievably high scoring game here contrasted with Limerick score 118 to 19 yeah. against Watford. I don't know how well this bodes for these two teams coming up against Limerick. Yeah, team games are funny. You can take on life of their own. Like you never would have thought that Limerick would have been held to what was it 118 or 118 today, yeah. today, and they've con kind of consistently hit that 30 point mark. You know, over over all their games over the last two or three years. So they obviously didn't get get to today. Uh, we'll have to finish today for Clare and Tip. Um, yeah, but I know we're the near the 30, but you kind of do need to be, I think if you're going to beat Limerick, you're, going to, you're probably going to need to be hitting the high 20s, 30 points, uh, but obviously uh, you, you'll, have to, you'll have to shore it up in the defence, and I suppose we talked about it already, but they're gifted, tip a lot of scores, and, and tip were open up in the first half, but they shore that up as well, so that's probably something they look to going forward you know, in their other games. Thank you very much, Derek.